If not, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead, I'll wait. Hey guys, today, I meant not today, but like less, less, um, like the day before yesterday, I got my hair done. The lemon rays, and there's a heart right here. You be quiet, bro. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing now? Mm. So this is my brother, Isaiah. And that's where uh, we was at with the drug club. He. This boy, he hit my neck like this, and that's when I, I hit him back. And that's when I told us my brother, and that's when he was like, he don't care. Because the other boy tried to explain, that's when he was like, I don't care, just don't hit my sister again. And, he, and the girls that was by him, they were like, you a bad brother, you a bad brother. So. Do you all believe that? <laughs> No, yes, that's not what yes, happened. Yes, yes, believe that. So, so believe she that. talking about this like boy Jerry hit her so and so, but she be rough housing with boys because I don't know what she's just like. I have brothers. She's like a manly girl, you know. No, I have brothers. And so I that a boy tried to hit her or something I, like that, I, and I, I was like, "Yo, don't hit my sister." And I was, he was trying to explain why he hit her, and I was like, "Yo, I don't care. They just don't hit her again." That's a lie. Yes, I do. That that makes more sense. That's, exactly. That's such exactly. a lie. No, stop lying. He's trying lying. to explain why stop he hit her. Like, I don't care why no, you hit her. No, no, stop lying. I don't lying. care. I don't stop care why you hit her. Because you lying. Because he's like, he wasn't even saying that. He was scared to say something. He's literally saying, I'm lying for you the could've, You could have looked at his face. He was like, this. You know, I, you know I'm... He was like this, y'all. Who was talking to you? You. We doing a video here. Why are you worried about him? We're doing a video here. Uh. <laughs> 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 but anyways... He was doing too much. And he, at least he could have said, um, at least he could have ran up on your, like, don't my sister again. <laughs> don't my nah, sister again. Conf conflict <laughs> ain't the way. Don't fight. Don't fight at home, kids. Yeah, don't fight at home. Yeah, no That's fight. a warning. That's a warning. Shut up. I was already telling him that. I'm the one that broke you in the vlog, yeah. I'm the one that broke you in the vlog, yeah. <laughs> he be trying to act so funny. We be trying to act so funny. You really do got a deep voice, though. Like, really. Say what happened at Booty Jeffers today? My ass look. Mm -hmm. It fell the night in my head. Everybody was laughing at me. I was just on the floor. I was mad, but I was, I was laughing. He told me to get my pussy ass up. <laughs> I'm be real. That's what he said. He said, get your pussy ass up. <laughs> I got up, me and was talking to you, talking about something. You need to stop laying on the floor like a little, 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 uh, little, little yeah. hole. That was just so the fact you just gonna sit here and curse like that, like I'm one of your homegirls? No. Because you were real damn comfortable saying that. Good evening. This is just an insert. I had to come on and let you all know that I do not approve of how my grandson was speaking. You know how sometimes a camera get in front of people and they lose their mind? Well, I had to help him find it. Yeah. She said I be talking to nobody said. around. Yeah, but you could have just made the gesture or the, the, the initials or, or something while you sitting there like 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 I'm one of your yo 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 little uh uh flunkies or something. Mm. Flop, 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 okay. <laughs> Wait, let me get there. Okay, guys, this Goose Creek Georgia peach candle, it is all that. And I mean all that awesome smelling up the whole bottom half of the apartment. It is awesome. Good afternoon, everybody. Again, it is Monday. May 5th and I'm just taking a break right now but listen guys this is what I want to say parents aunts uncles big brothers big sisters grandparents cousins whatever 
If you have young children in your family, okay, if you're raising a child, if you are heavily involved in a child's life, please, please, please have your children read on a regular basis. They need to read. Even if they are babies, read to them on a consistent basis so that they can get here. I'm sorry, used to hearing words, the sound of words and the, the way words are pronounced. Okay, and if they're old enough to uh, read uh, toddler literature, have them read five, four, five, six years old, um, make them read middle school. Listen, sit down, I want you to read this for 20 minutes. I'm telling you, it will make a world of difference. Too many children are coming to middle school not knowing how to read at all. And I don't understand that. Sight words, simple words, they're not recognizing. They don't know the words. Words like the, just, even, that. They don't know them. Our children are struggling to read very badly. And um, I just charge you to uh, make your child read. Make your niece and nephew read. Make your little cousins read. Hey, sit down for 20 minutes. Read this book. 20 minutes, that's it. Because you can't make them sit too long. That's worse. 15, 20 minutes, every time you see them, let them understand this is not punishment. Or help them understand this is not punishment. This is gonna make you great. So please, you know, make your children read. Make your nieces read. Or anyone that you care for, any children in your family, put a book, put a pamphlet. I don't care. Put the cereal box in front of them and let them read the different writings and stories on the cereal box. I used to do that when I was a kid. I don't know if children still do that. But, yeah, it's imperative that we push them to read more, okay, because it's just too much of a struggle right now. For these kids. Yeah, I had to put that out there. Just some FYIs or whatever you want to call them. Make the children read more. It's necessary, it's imperative, and it helps them. It is about 11.25 a.m. So we're testing this week. You know how it is when you go through the testing, FSA, or whatever it is in the state that you live in, whatever it's called, standardized test. And you know, we have to change classrooms. You know, we test in different rooms, different areas of the school. So tell me why I came back in my class and it smells like a hot pot of ass. I don't know who was in my room, but uh, you need to wash your ass, okay? People need to take a goddamn bath, um, use wipes or something throughout the day. When I tell you my room smells like a big cookout with nothing but ass on the grill, okay? And it's disgusting. I have to get my Bath and Body Works room spray that I keep so faithfully and just spray it down and wipe everything down. Because you have no business um, smelling so strong that you can stink up an entire classroom, okay? Especially mine, that part. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. I'm on my way to work, I know that's Nothing exciting about that to you guys, but it is a blessing to be able to go to work. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel anyway. Just want to say hello. We're going to have a productive and blessed day. So how you doing, guys? What's going on? Well, now that we made our greeting, you know what? Also, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to this channel. 
Let me sit here and wait. I'm going to give you time to subscribe. Go on, subscribe to the channel. You know you want to hang out with me. You know you want to hang out with us. Question, have you guys subscribed to this channel yet? If not, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead, I'll wait. Hello, y'all. So I'm in TJ Maxx. Looking for a black shirt for my son's eighth grade dance. And I'm not having any luck. I think I'm going to give up and try again tomorrow. But, um... All he needs is a plain black button-down shirt to go up under his extremely attention-getting blazer and shoes. And I haven't even really been looking. Let me tell you what I've been doing. I did find something I don't need. I love the smell of pink sugar. I didn't think I would like it that much, but it really smells good. So I ran out and found another little kit in here, but let me look for what I'm supposed to be looking for. Let me look for this black shirt. Good afternoon, y'all. It's Saturday. I'm in uh, Family Dollar. Just looking for something to buy. Just because it's Saturday, ain't nothing else to do. Get a couple of cheap things. Yeah. Let me see what they got. They look, they got some cute slides in here, but I don't need no slides. Then get some washcloths, though. I can always use those. Let me see. And the pillow. I do want some towels, but I oh, don't know. They are a little scarce here. I wanted those really, really cheap ones. Baby, tell me I don't get them. They cheap. Oh, those are the ones I want. Those are exactly the ones I want. the wipes I need the flushable wipes child because I can't get those ones that you're not supposed to flush because my boys they don't get that they flush them anyway let me look for them so I gotta use their bathroom let's see if they lie and say it's out of order I hate when they do that any store no damn well that bathroom ain't out of order You didn't say it's out of order. Okay. Okay then. Okay. It's crowded back here. The ice cream, that's what I was looking for. I'm getting ready to eat. Okay. Let's have some food. And for earplugs. That's my music. Good morning, y'all. How you doing? What's going on? I'm on my way to work. I feel better today. I was bad mood yesterday. All kind of stuff was happening yesterday, but I'm better today. Today is Thursday. We still testing. And it's tedious, but we gonna get through it. I got to get out of the car and find me some coffee. Hot coffee. Well, actually, I got to find me some cream and sugar with a little bit of coffee. I'll be right back, y'all. Good afternoon. How y'all doing? I'm just taking a little lunch break. How y'all doing? Just taking a little lunch break. Guys, you know what? I just want to say this. 
And I'm saying this because I just had a deep conversation with a co-worker and she's just like very upset right now about some issues that she's having. And I just want to say this, listen, if you're sitting around waiting for people to care about you, waiting for people to understand you, waiting for people to support you, waiting for people to be concerned about you, guess what? You're going to be waiting a long, long time because it's not going to happen. You need to care about yourself. You need to do what needs to be done for yourself. Because if you're sitting around crying and not understanding why people just don't, did that, listen, you're going to be crying for days and nights because it's not going to happen. Okay? Especially us with each other. That's just the way it is. Okay? You are going to have that yeah, you might have that small remnant of people that back you up, that look out for each other. I'm trying to hide this because y'all don't need to know where. You might have that small remnant, remnant, you might have that small remnant of people that'll back you up, that'll support you. But for the most part, it's not going to happen because that's just not what most of us do for each other. If you know you have high blood pressure or, you know, um, you need to do what you need to do to keep yourself well. You can't expect other people to care about your health, your well-being, your high blood pressure, your heart issues. You have to care about that. You can't be out here doing things that you know are detrimental to your life, your health, your well-being, expecting them to understand your issues because listen people can care less about what's going on with you you have to care about yourself and then I'm just saying you know it's the same thing with people sitting around waiting on a significant other to make them happy you can't sit around waiting for somebody to make you happy it doesn't work like that you have to make yourself happy you set the tone for how you're going to feel and how your life is not them now when they see you know what you want most of the time people just fall in line and if they don't oh well but if I'm not breaking any rules and breaking any laws this is what it is and you can either fall in line or fall out it doesn't matter but I'm doing this for me that part Also, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to buy, bow down and be with you think I should be just to make you comfortable. No, I'm not. Am I in bitch mode? No. Am I in asshole mode? No. But this is what it is. Because here's what I found out. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So you may as well set the tone or might as well or whichever word you choose, may or might, set the tone for how you want people to treat you and how you want to be for you. Like I said, you're not breaking any rules, breaking any protocols, breaking any codes of conduct, breaking any laws. So what? Who cares how they feel? I'm going to give you respect. You're going to give me respect. We don't have to like each other. But I'm going to do what's best for me. I'm going to be who I am. And with all that being said, that's, that's what I told the young lady. You're around here saying that you have heart palpitations and this is happening, that's happening. Why are you allowing things to happen that's causing your heart to palpitate? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? Well, because I just feel like it need to be done. Why? Why? You know, just to, so people can see, so people can see, boo, that's your problem. That's your problem right there. You're out here passing out and people got to call the ambulance for you and you're doing this to get approval from somebody else? I don't think so. Good afternoon, y'all. 
How y'all doing? Over here in Bad Cop Furniture Store. Don't really need nothing, but I can always upgrade. Child, tell me why I didn't get any footage of my baby's 8th grade dance last night. When I tell you he was fly and I didn't record any of it. I'm kicking myself for that. So anyway, I'm in bad car and I'm looking to purchase some new furniture. Also, my hair smells so good. That new hair mist that all the perfume companies are making now is a game changer. A game changer. But like I was saying, this hair mist, I got on the Kai Ali hair mist, and oh my God, it smells so amazing. I got the Good Girl, the Kai Ali, and another one, and oh my God, they are such a game changer. You know, got them hair weaves and wigs, keeping them fresh, because you know, as soon as you go outside, it's all you smell is sweating outside. But not anymore. Well, we've always used hair mist, but some of them just turn your hair white. But these, nothing but fragrance and freshness. Oh, I like this. Let me let y'all see this. I really like this. That's really cute. I really, really like this. Or something like this. Something that, um, if the furniture is brown or something, you throw this red couch in there with the brown and red decorative pillows. That would be cute. Either with black or brown. So, I don't like the way this, it's bright out here now. It's very bright. It's very bright. So, I'm going to end this vlog. And uh, I'll see you guys later in the next vlog. I just don't like this. Look how dull and bright, bright dull. I don't know what it's called, but it's too much light. We are in Florida. Okay. Okay.